Hey guys, something special for you guys today. We're going to do an extended version of what goes on in my office. You guys always want to see this stuff. It's going to be a little boring, but I like to do it from time to time to give you an insight to what goes on. This is Oscar. Hurt his wrist in a fight at work. Went to a hand surgeon, couldn't help. Massage couldn't help. Chiropractors couldn't help. Can't lift his child destroys him. 10 years of back pain. He attributes losing $20,000 because of his pain. We did an exam, pushed on his back, checking him out chiropractically. Here, we're checking his neck for pinched nerves. You know what I do here? And so you can see him kind of reacting there. Ouch. Uh, checked his range of motion back here. You can tell back. Now we're checking his elbow and his wrist for what his chief complaint is. Took some x-rays of him. Here, we're setting him up. We adjusted <laughs> him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that shit hurt. So I told him, look, what you do is somewhat dangerous. Well, in fact, it's very dangerous. I've, I told him from the get-go I had sleep deprivation for the last two weeks. Uh, I live about an so hour drama, away so from drama. here. <laughs> I was like, dude, I almost got in three car accidents on the way down. I was trying to call people, hey, can you talk to me? I'm falling asleep. Um, I am the type of guy that takes his job very seriously i don't take naps i don't i wake up early um i'm currently having some work done at my house right now as we speak and um i had to wake up yesterday at 7 a.m in the morning which is no problem i don't even put a alarm or anything i woke up two hours late my guys were on on site already working at my house and uh, they're working on the house on the roof and you don't hear them you don't wake I don't, up i mean and then same thing this morning i had to drop off a bobcat i mean as i'm dropping off the bobcat i'm like uh i'll be there at at seven guys i'll be there I'll wake up at six beer it's nine o'clock and i'm like barely taking a bobcat two hours i mean it's just amazing i'm like yeah i'm shocked i mean dude just crack my neck and i get all these types of you know, things that change in my life in just a matter of, of minutes. How long since you've slept that much? Not weeks. Five, six years, maybe. Years. He was upset with one of them this morning. So what happened? I asked him about how much rage he was having when he talked to him. I was able to calm myself because typically I just blow out, you know, let off the steam. Um, I just can't put with all Describe this how you said it was in your chest. I love that. I mean, the pain is here. You know, you, you want to say something and you, you get angry because you know what can happen of your potential customers, which is the number one priority. Um, and for somebody to not do their job right, it, it just really, really irritates you to the point that you just want to yell it out. How, is, how is this different than it usually is? I think because my body isn't in pain, I'm able to be like, okay, you know, it's good, it, it, it's fine. Um, I was able to process it a lot more calmly than I normally yeah. would and the pain does come still um, Any better. Yeah, I didn't even ask absolutely the, the pain is like a five um, But then when it goes it's completely gone What instruction for you to do go home this weekend and to hold your child because you said how yeah. do you used to hold your child? Like a football like football yeah. you see that in another video and I told you to go home and hold your child yeah. What did you do when you went home? I mean it felt great. I was able to raise him and you know interact with him um, how different was that? Very different. Very different. Very different. Because I've got motion now. Um, I think just being a husband is not only you know working and, and just showing up to to do to pay for bills or whatever. I think it's about. It isn't. It's it's about also <laughs> helping out you know with dishes that's or whatever. And um, <laughs> it it's just easier to do my task without any pain or yeah. Um, but tell us about the emotion you feel like you see when she calls you and wants you to get up out of bed and get your lazy ass out of bed. And you said normally you're like, Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, it's like but now you're like, what? it's like night and day because you get up, help clean the toys up for the kids' playroom or whatever it is. But um, it's very easy now to bend over and and. Do. I, I used it. to hear a crack too on my back, and now I no longer feel it. So the job um, when I used to you know, eat a sandwich or something. Um, I used to hear like a, a lock or some type of issue with the jaw, um, and it went away. I haven't. He has the perfect George Costanza wallet. That I haven't seen this like this in a long time. So I want to get this up close because you want to see how thick the sucker is. Look at the sucker. Can you even get up here? Let me let me see if I have something to put next to it. Okay, so let me pull a credit card out of here. Just want to show you how thick this thing is. That's a credit card right there. See? Can't even pull it out. And see, look at how thick this freaking thing is. So if you put this in your back pocket, <laughs> if you put this thing in your back pocket, your ass will hurt. And so 
right here. And if you put that like that, let me see if I can get this in here. Uh, <laughs> my pants won't even stretch that. Oh, well, you got now, skinny jeans got skinny on, man. Jeans. Come on. Look at this shit. Look at that. So would that hurt if you had to put set on that thing? So people, if you have a thick ass wallet, make it thinner. Right. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, that's about as big as, and Brother George Casanova Seinfeld, when he did this, he goes, he goes, I put my receipts in there. I put my receipts in there. <laughs> I feel like it went deeper, like more. <laughs> A second day, second adjustment. <laughs> Painful still, huh? Oh, you pulled it. You pulled the spine on that one. So he's gonna ice, ice, ice. I keep saying this because this pain he's feeling is all from inflammation in there. That inflammation is from the bones grinding on themselves. Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry I didn't turn the audio on in this one, but uh, some good stuff here. I'm pushing on his shoulders. Why? To uh, tell his brain to turn off the pain to a certain extent. I know it seems funny because I'm causing him pain. But really what I'm doing is I'm tricking the body to show him what lack of pain feels like. And so you guys can try this at home. Push on the shoulders and it will hurt like a son of a gun. But when you let go, you'll be like, hmm, woo, I feel relaxed. And that's what we're trying to teach him here. Trying to teach him how to relax. On this second part, we didn't get any audio too. So we are adjusting him here. And uh, it's his first neck seated adjustment. And I know many of you like these. So I wanted to get the first one on camera. He uh, is hurting here with the adjustment, but you know, I think he has a lot of inflammation in his neck. Um, these are lower neck adjustments, and uh, you can see they go pretty good in the chair, but he has a reaction to them. We're going to finish up with the second adjustment on the left side. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this, and I hope you enjoy this long form uh, um, video. Um, please leave your comments in the comment section. Love to hear what you guys think. So, right now, um, no pain. The wrist pain I got maybe a one, but she's still working on it, and you know we knew kind of this would happen. The back a one, yeah, he's he's still complaining because it's still a one. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's, <laughs> I it can, was a nine only four days ago. I can go to my day to day use, take out my big big wallet which got skinny now. I took a bunch of stuff out. I didn't need cards and any any time I am asked to do something whether it be by a customer by my wife it's just a lot easier to get up and help out my son helping him out a anything around lifting it's just a lot of movement in involved now that i before i hesitated uh you know i got but it wasn't because like i said a lack of wanting to do it, it was more of a pain that i got adjusted to it definitely has been a game changer in terms of how i look at doctors now before i thought it was just surgery or injections medicine and uh, well, I look at everything way, way different. Um, I was talking to your son. I was like, look, you know what I just realized? That when you put a tire and you're, the, the machine spinning, I'm sure you guys have seen it. When they put weights on it to balance the tire. If they don't put the weights, the tire goes like this. But you know what? Come to think about that's the way the body is. And, you know, if we don't have a balance in our body, everything else goes to shit. And I'll take this one step further. What if you didn't remove those tires? What if you couldn't change the tires? And that's the human body. Guess what happens? The tire will wear out enough, it'll blow out the tire. And we call that a herniated disc in the back. We call those prolapsed discs. And so those are all results of what? Those weights not being properly put on those tires. And so what I'm doing is I'm literally just replacing the weights where they're supposed to be so you can get as much wear out of the tire as you can. The more wear you get out of the tire, the less arthritis in your body. The more you're out of balance, the more arthritis it develops. Your body wears out because of pressure. And arthritis is just similar to that tire wearing out. You know, I will say some of his jokes might not make a hyena laugh, but he's a cool guy. I, I don't I don't care what people say. He's a cool guy, you know. You know, he is an ass at times, but you know, he's a great guy and I think it's just his personality what will keep me in contact with his office. Just like, hey, what's up, man? You know, because he's just a great guy to be around with, you know. Yeah, I'm glad my son's hearing this right now too. <laughs> Show us the hand, but put put the hand back and go again. Remember I mean, this just a couple days ago, guys. I'm gonna put this on the before and afters. Look, look at how much pain is there. Uh, there's a one. Gotcha. Now go down. And you guys, I'm gonna. I'm, this is a before and after. You're gonna see this before and after. I'm gonna put it right next to each other. And he couldn't even do that. It was a nine out of ten just four days ago. Um, 
Yeah. And all this for how many years again? Two years, right? Two years. Two years, yeah. yeah. So uh, we got a special uh, treat for you. He brought his son today, and we talked about this in the first video, how he has to hold his son as like a football. And uh, he's going to show us how he did that and how he can show how he can hold him now. Come here. So before, it how old Omar? Like, he is two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. And so show me how. Show him how you hold so him. So before it was like, oh, come on, you know, let's go. And I had to move him because and because you couldn't use it all. Yeah. And that's how you hold him all the time. Look at how much he hates that. And now it's like, <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that, guys? Yeah. And that's four days. Mommy. No. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. <sighs> Dr. There here, I'm with Oscar. Uh, he finished his last week program um, and he's back with his wife. And so, um, first of all, we just did a full treatment of his wife that's had pain, been in the emergency room a million times. Just because she doesn't want to do a video doesn't mean we can't talk about it, right? Right. So, what did you just witness with your wife? And tell us, just tell us a little history. How old is your, how old is your wife? What does she have? What kind of pain she has? And just tell us what you witnessed. So, my wife is. 34. Um, she's been to the hospital numerous times over the last decade. We've been married about 13 years, so it's been it's been a real journey because I came in here and she goes into these lapses of like three or four months, no pain, no, you know, it just it's weird. It comes and goes, um, but she's made of it a chronic pain I guess you guys call it where she's used to the pain um, on my second day that I was here I talked to him about bringing her in because she couldn't get out of bed her her, her back was in pain her both of her legs were not responding and I was like look you have to go see this guy I mean of course she's like ah oh, what's he gonna do just crack my neck I mean but I was so amazed by the change he did in my life that I'm like no you're coming as soon as I'm done with my treatment um, she came in today and it was her first uh, adjustment she's been to the hospital she goes to the emergency room how many times has she been to the emergency room for this pain I I want to say at least probably 10 times to get you know just seeing specialists seeing uh, I always leave my pains aside because I'm more concerned about her. So I've never taken care of myself. Um, like I said, I've, I've seen other doctors, but you know, just people that work on bones and, and they can't do anything. Um, so you know, what did you witness here today with her? I, me seeing my, she's the most optimistic person. Like she, you can't get her to to agree or until she sees it or feels you know her her by by her witnessing it um i was just like the videos i'm like god this guy is really god you know jesus whatever you want to call it. like i was so amazed by the change um uh, you guys have to whoever's going through pain you have to make an effort to come out and so she couldn't feel her leg today she had weakness in her yes. arms so what happened we did all this test what did she say uh, she almost wanted to cry I mean yeah. she's just been out of you know she's been part of the pain for the past 10 plus years yeah. she said when she was sitting in the waiting room she when she was waiting for me to come in she was twisting and turning she was her back her leg was hurting and I asked her just right now she's sitting out there and she goes I have no pain. Years of pain. I have no pain. It, my pain started coming back again um, on my shoulder. Not so much the back. My shoulder, my, my hand is fantastic, but my shoulder. But of course, I, I went back to lifting, doing the stuff that originally got me hurt. So, you know, it's a, it's a coaching that I need from him, not just him adjusting me. Remember me? Mm. So one question, Oscar. How much easier to hold your posture after the, after the adjustment? Oh, a lot easier. Yeah. That's why I'm asking that question, guys, because he's doing way, way better now. Before he came in, he was doing his old posture. Now the posture is much better again. Because why? It's so much simpler, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. So thanks for that. Uh, anything else you want to share? You feel different at all? 
Oh, yeah, he, he's, he's the man. So that's all I can say. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Tell us what happened. You were doing fine until what? I had to go ahead and... Crawl on the back of your truck? Crawl on the back of my truck and bent over, and that something moved, cracked, and just didn't follow the directions. Yeah. Oh. And so we can work with it. I'd rather people fall down and so I can show them how to get back up rather than be perfect and then later on when they're not around, they don't know what's going on. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I'm yes. glad. Yes, Good. sir. Uh, we're gonna do this first atlas adjustment today. And so we did a mid cervical earlier. He's really excited about this, as you can see. <laughs> Why are you nervous, dude? It sounds crazy. It sounds atlas. crazy. Okay, just relax, Oscar. That's good. No. <laughs> Oh, wow. How is that different from the other ones? It's only on the brain, huh? It's all on the brain, yeah. exactly. <coughs> Good. Oh. Wow. Definitely a way different feeling from the other adjustments. What else did you say when you walked on the block? Was that what was different there? Uh, it felt, it was just more of a gliding, easier to walk. I mean, it's, it's a lot less. Gotcha. Right now the mastoid process. <laughs> we'll check out how he responds to that later. Thanks for watching, guys. The method with the eight pants and how to walk properly, it eases the way the you tension go. feels right now. I have no tension. Perfect. Neck adjustments and the adjustments he does, it's only a fraction of what the outcome is. The way you walk, the way you are supposed to um, address walking, sitting, sleeping. There's so much to learn. You have to be prepared to invest the time. Yeah, I'm gonna adjust his shoulders today because he talked about when he was a child, remember? Yeah. So he had all the shoulder problem and we'll put this in the video and you guys will see this, that he had trouble when he was a child. He almost had surgery on his shoulders and um, they used to dislocate all the time and so I wanna set them. And so we're gonna do a set on there. You can see it, I've done it in lots of other videos. He loves this by the way. There you go. Right now he doesn't like it. Good. So oh, I started feeling good towards the end. Good. Okay. Oh. Jesus, man, fixing people left and right. Oh. <laughs> because of the history he had when he was a kid. Oh. Good. Oh, shit. And you ask why I slapped him? No reason. He had years of these dislocated shoulders and we just adjusted them so I, I can't wait to see how he responds. See you guys. So sitting is a big problem that I kind of had an idea the minute he started telling me about posture and everything. I thought, ah, uh, I can't you talk. You talk? No, I, no, it's a pain. <laughs> I can't talk. Because every time I go out in the waiting room to talk oh, to the group, uh, I notice that he is slouching and he's slouching terribly and he comes, I come in the room and I say something about posture or sitting and he instantly sits up and tries to be the teacher's pet. <laughs> so I immediately came in here and go, okay, we've learned enough, now I gotta teach him how to sit a little bit. So driving lean to one side, you know. What do you do all the time? I lean to the right. Doing what? Putting your arm on the center console, right? Center console. I was trying to catch myself, trying to put my neck in more of a center, but he, I'm learning that it's not the right way to do it. What do we teach you about sitting, by the way? Uh, that I have to do the eight pants, which is, you know, leaning, dropping my, my shoulders pretty relaxing, much. Relaxing. Yeah, yeah. Relaxing them, so. Okay. Good. These hurt your shoulders at all? No, feels good. Gotcha, okay. Okay. Come a little over here, Alex. There you go. Okay. Relax. Good. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Are you laughing? Yeah. And he was just saying that if he didn't come here, he I was his last resort. Why? Because everybody else I went to, they're like, you need an MRI. Your only option will probably be surgery, and they're gonna have to fix a tendon or whatever. So why? Uh, how close were you to do the surgery? Uh, one phone call away. I mean, how, like you were, you were seriously considered, it was, right? It was, I mean, it was really, really bad. I couldn't even perform my daily duties at home, just waking up to put on my shoes. It was just awful. I mean, and you doing it with one hand and in pain, it just, 
Show us how your wrist is. Show me how the pain is. So, I mean, it's one maybe. But again, if I do it on this hand, and I'm sure you guys at home can try it. You, and my memory kind of triggers like, oh, there's pain. But in reality, if I do it on this side, then there's pain on this wrist as well. So mm -hmm. We've solved 90% of this problem, but sometimes there can be a little bit left, and that's what we're gonna do right now. So we have a wrist. Okay, how much pain am I pushing here? Mm -mm. Nothing? Okay. You got see the size? That's it. <laughs> oh God, that that last one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, feels good though. Oh. Yeah, no, nothing. I went to zero now. Yeah. Man, what'd you do? <laughs> well, it's not like I don't have skills. I just wanted to show you guys and you where ninety percent of the problem comes from. And so, why does that work? How does that work? Neurology. Just want to take simple neurology. There's a, there's a bunch of nerves here called the brachial plexus. When they're pinched, when there's a problem there, it will cause this arm to be weaker or cause numbness or whatever kind of symptom. And so if he stops using this correctly, it's going to get weaker in here. So by turning on the neurology here, it made the muscles work properly. It did what? It tightened up all this wrist because why? Because I just simply turned on the electrical switch to his arm. But now he did fall on it, so I wanted to make sure I adjusted it because the way he said it and it swelled up, I do believe there's a problem there, but I didn't think it was most of the problem. I thought it was just a part of the problem. That's what we just did. In my wildest dream, did I think um, that having a chiropractor versus a doctor, there'd be More such doctors. a different outcome? I mean, doctors. doctors. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> I, I can't tell you guys how many people that work in the medical field come to him. People that work in doing surgeries and I meet him in the parking lot. I mean, his waiting room is usually full, yet he doesn't allow that to interfere. He has a one-on-one -on -one connection. He doesn't care if there's 10 or 100 people out there. He focuses solely on me. And to me, the quality that he spends is, is, is a lot, you know. and. The people I talk to in the medical field, like, yeah, we, we see about 70% of cases that can get cured with him yet. And so by not doing the lean down the center console mm -hmm. and doing and, and doing what I told you how to sit, right? you felt lighter. And oh, yeah. Good. And so you guys create your own hell. That's mm -hmm. what I try to explain to everybody, that I can bring you back from the brink, but if we don't change the bad habits you have, we ain't going to solve anything. Because yep. if you keep doing the bad habits, all you're going to do is keep going backwards in time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How does one week and the second week change things? Um, I think the change has been really more knowledge. I think um, nobody thinks about how to sleep or sit or walk or drive in, in a vehicle. Um, very important because it changes automatically if you practice it for an hour the proper way. Um, that he trains, teaches me to do it. It just makes a change overall on the daily commute coming here, about an hour. Um, and also I think it, it, when I practice it, it eases everything, all the tension that my mind and body are used to yeah. for the past years. Yeah. So I think it's very important that we get educated. Um, I think you need time to do that. You can't just, in one hour, you know, learn how to walk and how to uh, sit properly it just it's it's time it takes time yeah this is what two weeks does is pound 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 adjustments train the train the body and coach the patient to change long term he left me a very very nice message on my last video and uh, if you want to talk to him he's um he's uh cobra mm -hmm. cobra hernandez that is me yeah so say hi to him uh, he le I le like I said, he left his message on um, Tion's story, uh, part one story. So uh, check it out, say hi to him. A soccer uh, player. Soccer player, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not, I, this is the first time I've been on camera, so it's like crazy because I'm like, how can I convince people to actually believe me? And you know what, in the end, it's like I can only say what I feel, what happened to me, and refer people that know me, and hopefully people that are are seeing this and that know me like he's the real deal so the most important the biggest thing you're telling me is that the thing that you're most surprised is how much we could do in two weeks and he was about to have surgery on his wrist yes very very close i mean this is like it's it's 
I can do everything now. I uh, appreciate it, man. <laughs> and so, uh, say goodbye. Bye. See you guys.